Today we're going to talk about how to take blood pressures with our senior pets. Um, there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. You can take the blood pressure from the front leg or the back leg or the tail. Um, today we're going to take Charlie's blood pressure with the back leg. Um, this is my dog Charlie and this is Kristen who's my assistant. There's different size cuffs for different size dogs. So your veterinarian will choose which cuff is the appropriate size for your pet. And it's gonna gently go on the leg like this. I'm using a Doppler blood pressure check. There's different types that you can use, including ones that will um, you can use your stethoscope to listen to like when you're in human medicine. So ideally, your pet is as still as possible while the reading is taking place. I like for the owners to be in the room and holding their dog or cat because their blood pressure tends to be better and it'll give you a more accurate reading. You can also see that we have Charlie on a soft surface, so it's easier for him to stand still. And he's more comfortable at the same time. Normal blood pressure in a dog is about what ours is, 120 over 80. Charlie's looks like it's a little high, so that might even be an abnormal error for him. Um, so we're going to take a second one here. Depending on what your pet's pressure is, your veterinarian will decide whether or not they need medicine or some kind of other therapy for their blood pressure. The blood pressure being too high can affect a lot of, of things in your pet. The most important things are their eyes or their kidneys or their heart. So it is very important to make sure your pet's blood pressure is normal. So he must be very excited because his, his is reading high, um, but I know that it's okay for him um, because he's a healthy, otherwise normal dog. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. 